everyone it's me again brenda um today i'll be reviewing one of the items that did come in my boxy lux box from boxy charm um today i'm going to give it the first try i have charged the portable um charger it's called the crimes of beauty wristlet and portable charger because it does come inside this glam af leather bag that has a zipper and it has a divider in the middle and it's a very good size um this is what this uh says it says the wristlet portable charger okay the ultimate bag for beauty essentials on the go the durable and lightweight pebble fox leather bag is ideal for the jet setter the trim setter and the girl boss who is always running to her next meeting the portable charger is compatible with iphone and android devices and can be recharged throughout any us port so that you'll never miss an email or an instagrammable moment again it retails at 22 dollars um i have already charged this uh, I, I left it on the charger for about close to five hours, I, but about four hours and 35 minutes, I want to say. Um, at first, when I first put it on the charger to charge it, um, it was blinking red. It blanked red. It was blinking red for about two hours, and then uh, it stopped blinking red, and it just stayed on red. So um, I decided to take it off after uh, four hours and a half because... It wasn't changing any other color anymore. It wasn't changed to a different color anymore or anything. So I figured I needed to take it off the charger. Um, it didn't come with instructions on how long we can keep it or we should keep it on the charger. It didn't come with instructions on that. All it comes with is this little paper here uh, that tells you like the anatomy of the box. And then on the back, it only tells you, let's see, it says, dual android iphone charger connector and it tells you how to insert it says insert the metal side up the white strips down for the iphone okay to remove the type c adapter insert dual iphone or android charger connector into type c adjust adapter slot and pull Warning, do not force the charger head into the battery to attach the charger as that could jam the charger and get stuck. Okay, but it doesn't, like it doesn't tell you how long to leave it charging. It doesn't tell you what, if it's going to change colors. It doesn't tell you, um, you know, it doesn't give you any other instructions. And I've looked everywhere online to see if I can find any instructions on it. And I couldn't, I couldn't find them anywhere. So, um. It's okay, we're still gonna give it a go and I will be back to tell you how that went. Okay, so yesterday um, my Boxy Lux box came and in here, uh, one of the items was this crime, Crimes of Beauty. Um, and it's a power charger for your cell phone. It's good for Androids and it's good for iPhones. So if you can see this, my battery is about to die on my phone. I charged this when I plugged it up. It was blinking red. I plugged it up for about four hours. And then it was just, it wasn't blinking red anymore. The light just stayed red. Um, it never changed to a green or any other color. So I figured because it was staying out of red completely maybe that meant that it was fully charged and i think five hours is plenty of time for it to have charged so um the charger is the the entry for the charger is like the motorola or the android chargers i don't know if you can see that yeah so what i want to do is i want to wait until my phone completely dies before i plug this up onto my phone to see how long it takes for it to get a full charge um this was called the crimes of beauty wristlet because it comes in um the bag this bag the glam af bag so it comes in that it came in that bag so that's the wristlet and then it says portable charger but it didn't have any instructions so the portable charger didn't have instructions 
all it came with was um, this little paper that tells you what all is on there. It just says dual charger connector, Android for Android and iPhone, uh, Type C adapter, USB output, USB input. Then it has a USB wire connector. Charge uh, your digital to charge the digital digital device. But that's it. It's a one uh, front side back side pay, uh, piece of pamphlet. It doesn't give you anything else. Um, it just kind of says those are the only instructions that come with it. To remove a type c adapter insert dual iphone or android charger connector into type c adapter slot and pull so it doesn't give you much information of it it doesn't tell about it it doesn't tell you how long you need to leave it charging it doesn't tell you if it's going to change colors or anything like that which is still okay um we'll find out because that's why i am testing it so um that's what the crimes of beauty portable charger and um glam bag looks like and i will be right back once i need to charge it up so that you can see uh how long it takes all right so uh the phone just died right now finally um you know when you want when you're wanting the phone not to die on you it like dies quickly and then when you're waiting because you're doing a review for the phone to die so you could do a review on a power charger the freaking thing doesn't want to die so it finally did now i do want to mention um i did say the power charger um is very tiny not, not very tiny but let me let me compare it okay here's one of my old school cards um so do you see the difference it's not very big it does come with a charger the charger is like the android charger so, um, the entries are right here. So, um, the one at the very corner houses the 8-pin lightning charger for iPhones. And this could be used with any iPhone 5 and up. And then you have your USB uh, entry there so that you could charge the power charger. And then you have your um charger right your charging port right here your area to charge for your android right here so um and then this like i said focus focus why aren't you focusing okay the phone doesn't want to focus on it but it is the eight pin charger for your for iphones uh you can use this on an iphone 5 and up so i'm about to plug this onto my iphone what I do love about these lightning cable chargers, well actually like the normal lightning cable chargers, is that um, it doesn't matter which way you plug it in, it'll go in. Um, it doesn't matter if it's upside or, or downside or whatever, you can't even tell most of the time. But with this one, you do have to plug it in, you know, with the pins going up because on the other side, it's like this. So um, when you do put the charger on it, make sure the pins are facing up okay make sure they're facing up like that okay i just plugged it on and it's not doing anything yet let's give it a moment to see if anything like there's no button or anything that says to use to turn it on or off there's you know so and the light didn't come on all right guys the light didn't come on because i put it in backwards so you do have to put it on backwards um i i ended up plugging it not with the pins facing up they have to be facing down so the silver needs to be upwards okay in order for it to work as you can see it is now charging it was at zero percent obviously because it had completely turned off it, it i did it at 2 15 p.m and it's 2.16 p.m. right now. And it's already at 6% charged. Mm, pretty little nifty charger there. All right, I'm going to cut it off. So remember, 2.15 p.m. is when I first plugged it on. In. Okay, it is now 3 p.m. The phone is still on the charger. 
and it is at 50 percent okay 50 percent it's only charged at 50 percent all right guys uh let's see what is going on with this phone so apparently the light doesn't come on anymore the last time that we checked 20 minutes ago it didn't come on anymore either it is 320 so now it's been a full hour that it's been charging and it's only 48 percent so there you have it guys i guess um it comes in handy if you don't mind getting just a little bit of a charge just to get you through uh that one call you need to make uh, until you can get somewhere where you can get power but I'm so sorry to say that this little thing does not really work. It does not really work. Ah, the phone has been off though the entire time. I was not using it. The phone, there was no phone calls coming through or anything. So, um, it's just been plugged in. I've checked it already. It's still plugged in the same way. And this was charged for a little, it was about 4 hours and 35 minutes that I charged it. And I told you this was blinking red when I first put it on the charger uh, to charge and to get power. And then after four and a half hours, it was just solid red. So I thought maybe that meant it was ready. Um, I don't know what to say, guys. I hate to say anything negative because I love BoxyCharm so much. Look at all this beautiful stuff they send all the time. So, um, but yeah. That's what it is. So no good for the Glam AF. The bag. The bag is very useful. The charger, like I said, can get you out of a small dilemma if you don't mind it just charging a tiny bit. But $22 for the bag along with the portable charger. I don't think I would purchase this if it were on sale somewhere. Alright guys, thank you for stopping by and listening to my um, little review here that I've done on this Crimes of Beauty wristlet and portable charger. You guys have a great day. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. Okay, so I had to go in to the website and it gives you an option to uh, message them. Uh, it says on here that they will get back to us as soon as possible, but this is what I asked. I asked, um, hello, I just needed more information. And then it, I said, it only came with a small cardboard page in the front. It gives the anatomy of the charger, and on the back it still did not have instructions. So I just want to know how long should I keep it charging for to put it at a full capacity, what does it mean when it is blinking red or when it stays solid red? And how long will it last if it is not in use after a full charge? So we'll wait to see what they respond. Okay, well that was at 12.31 p.m. So let's see. Um, let's see when they respond. Okay. So that was the only message they sent. 12.39 um, I sent them a couple of messages, one at 12.41, at 12.52, and the last one saying, hello, were you able to get any information? Um, and that was at once, so it's been over 20 minutes with no response. I don't think we're going to get a response. Okay, so this is how I got to the website. I just went to look at, uh, through BoxyCharm's website to see the box then I chose the glam F A F box when you get to that part it tells you buy from the brand so I went ahead and clicked on buy from the brand and that's when it took me to the crimes of beauty website from there I was looking for the the little glam AF bag and portable charger and it's put in there like this so they show the entire boxy lux box if you look at the very bottom of this page that's where I found the messenger spot where you can message them and that's where I went to send them a message 
and that's how I got in contact with them. But as you can see, um, after an hour of trying to communicate with them, pretty much that's all I got was the first time, do you need help? And then I told them the, the issues or the questions I had, and then they said, okay, um, I'm still looking for that information. And then I said, you know, the following, and you all read what, what all I said, and then that was it. So after an hour of going back and forth, they still never replied, so I just gave up. Um, I will still try to get more information on it because I'm sure somewhere they have information about this charger. Um, but like I said, it was not a complete loss. The little wristlet is amazing. It's a huge, nice, hefty bag where you can store things. So, I mean, I still think it's a good thing that we got that bag. That's all for today, everyone. Have a great day. Bye.